South America's Andes Mountains in Peru. Dramatic peaks reach upwards of 19,000 feet. The eastern slopes lead down into the Amazon basin. But to the west, icy peaks drop to tropical jungle. The lack of oxygen makes it extremely hard, and we're more susceptible to high altitude illness. And this is a way you get to learn about somebody through very stressful situations. That is when a person is either going to shine or falter. There's something on the rocks over there. There's what appears to be a backpack or a jacket sitting on this old rock wall. <laughs> Tinkerbell in there? 안녕하십니까. 제가 이제는 선거선 여러분 가시는 그림에 좋은 물건 한개 들고 가시라고 얘기했었습니다. 플라스틱 대가리에 털이 났습니다. Yep. Wine. Well, we're probably not going to rappel down a cliff. No. Well, that's it. That's all we've got. Joe and I got a pretty good head start with the supplies that we have in the backpack, but there's probably not going to be a lot of good shelter immediately in the area. We've got to get off of this. Hey, Matt. Yeah? We are getting hammered with the wind. Yeah, I, I agree. It looks like there's some trees right down there. We might be able to find some shelter. Yeah, if we can get on the right side of this thing, it's, life's going to be a lot nicer. Yeah, they can Why don't better. we drop down and see what we can find? Let's do it quick. All right, yeah. Sees Joe and Matt continuing to seek lower altitudes and along the way, hoping to find a clear path back to civilization. Matt, slow down just a little bit. Tweak my knee. This is pretty brutal terrain. Hopefully, if we keep going down, we'll find something that's a little easier to navigate. We're following that river, making our way down this really steep ravine. It's nearly vertical. Finally, we come out to this opening. No. Sure enough, there's this huge waterfall there. I'm not sure how we're going to get around this. We've got two choices, Matt, the way I see it. We can either go up or we go down. I really don't want to walk back up. How's that root right there? Is that pretty sturdy? Solid. There's a lot of vines around here. We can find some long enough. We can tie it off, throw it down this thing, and climb down. I like that idea. You good with that? Yeah, let's go find some vines. All right. Think that's long enough? I think so. We'll, we'll find out here. At the top of this waterfall is this root coming out. It's really thick. It's really strong. It's actually anchored both top and bottom. So we're going to wrap it around a bunch of times and tie some half hitches on it. Looks like it'll reach. Let's try that other one. This is a good 40 foot. If you fall from here, if you're not dead, you're going to wish you were. I'll go ahead and go down first. And when I get down, I'll tug really hard to make sure it's going to hold both their weights. Take your time, bro. Looking good, Matt. Matt! Bong Nice. I weigh about 30 pounds more than Matt, plus I have a backpack on. All right, you're looking good. If I lose my grip, I'm going straight to the bottom and probably land on Matt. Right on. It's looking good. Yeah. Good job, bro. Yeah, nice one. Let's get out of here. Our plan right now is to get out of this valley. We're getting pelted with rain and mist. We're getting soaked and wet. We need to find a shelter and dry out. This looks like a nice area. Some biggest trees I've seen so far. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's dry under here to begin with, which is nice, because all this ground's been really wet. And I feel like we could build like a nice whale back structure where it sort of spreads out and we'd have a big, big opening out here. Matt's idea is going to take time, and it's going to take a lot of calories that we don't have. How long do you think it'll take to build that? An hour. 
Matt's pretty set on this, so I'm gonna see how this is gonna work out, but I think it's a bad idea. Surviving as a hunter-gatherer in a wide variety of terrains in the American West, Matt has improvised shelters like wigwams, pit houses, and kivas during his time living off the land. Start to feel at home here. Matt, you know we're just staying here one night, right? I think I don't see too many gaps. I think for tonight, we're more than solid. All right. Pretty snazzy shelter, huh? Or like immersed in the womb of nature. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Stranded in the Peruvian Andes, over 10,000 feet above sea level, and having failed to make primitive fire the night before, Joe and Matt try again. So we're getting everything out of the backpack, pulled the wisp broom to make sure that there's no moisture coming from the ground. I realized it was still gonna slide around because this hearth board was much smaller. So we got out the tent stakes, started pounding those in to stabilize the hearth. So <laughs> pretty much everything out of that backpack's being used for this fire. It's looking good. We'll just keep that up. Mm -hmm. Got a really nice punk coming out. Just a tiny bit quicker. There's great punk coming up. It's very stable the way it's locked down between these two trees. Looks like we got a coal. After working so hard to get that coal together, I haven't got a fire yet. Do your thing. Let's see it, brother. Nice. Yeah. Nice work, man. Yeah. That's a testament to not quitting. You know, we've got a fire, we've got shelter. Um, no brainer, we need to find some food, replenish some calories, man. I'm trying to keep my profile low so I don't spook any possible fish. And uh, sure enough, I see a really nice sized fish. It looks like a trout. I'm gonna go try to make a thrusting spear or something that I can get it. Maybe an outlatter. The at level is an ancient tool that uses leverage to propel a dart much faster and farther than a one-handed throw. Having multiple spikes splayed out actually pins the fish down inside there and also creates a little bigger surface area to hit the fish. All right, that feels pretty good right there. There's eggs in there. It's not much but that's protein. I see the fish is still there. Sure enough, it's a good solid shot. And all of a sudden, I notice another fish darts right into this pool right in front of me. So I carefully step back and I, I grab my equipment. It's like, all right, you know, now we got two fish. Joe gets his own fish and I get a fish. Hey. What do you got there, man? A little trout dinner for oh. us. Dude, sounds really good. I actually got a couple eggs for oh, us. Perfect. Matt and I have had a very long day. It's actually amazing what has happened from dropping in altitude where there's more resources and it's paid off huge. I think we should chow down tonight, keep heading down. Thinking heading down tomorrow? Yeah, man. We've got a nice shelter. It seems like there's a lot of food around here. Well, yeah, I'm not wanting to camp right now. I'm really starting to feel comfortable out here in this whaleback structure. We got a fire, we got fish. I mean, this is a great spot. What about if we just stay tomorrow, get some more food, because we're obviously finding stuff around here, get charged up, and then we can make a beeline the next day. Let me think about that for a second. Um, no. Matt is a long-term survival guy. He has his head switched on for staying here for a week or two. That's not what we're doing here. We're spending one night. While you were down there catching fish, did you see any way out of here? Yeah, the valley definitely continues to open up. In the morning, why don't you take us both down that way and just lead the way and just keep on going. With much needed calories and water replenished, Joe and Matt continue to follow the river downstream. 
where they are more likely to encounter a village or a larger body of water. Check this out. What is that? Yeah, I see like houses or something. It almost looks like there's two of them. There's like a high one and a lower one. We need to go check it out, because that's the first sign of civilization we've seen. Yeah, definitely. For us to get down to those huts and no one be home is going to be a real kick to the nuts. Wow, look at that. Wow. Well, this is a sign of civilization, but about 500 years ago. If nobody's around, maybe we could hooch up here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Somebody oh, wow. over there. 